Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of the Crafter. Today I'm going to use some of these little cutouts that I have. This is like a chalkboard kind of uh, little tag or um, label. And um, what I want to do is just do a little bit of collaging on it. So I went ahead and pulled that Your Creative Studios um, paper that the whole package comes wrapped in. So it's a really pretty type of um, tr straw paper with a pattern on it. And I figured, you know, I might as well use it because I don't like to throw things away. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll put a picture of what that looks like right about here. And um, I'm just going to use that paper to do some collaging today. So I pulled out a couple of these and some of these tags that I have. So these are just some pre-cut uh, craft paper tags. So I'm just going to use them to do some collaging. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of that stuff and I will be right back. So this is what one of the tags look like once it's been glued down and, um, and now I have a really good base going. It's a nice flat surface. I used my sanding block to just sand off the edges. It gives it a really clean uh, cutaway without using a fussy cut scissor and it saves a lot of time. It also, um, yeah, it's just the cleanest the cleanest removal of any excess paper around your edges when you're collaging. So that's what's going to be my base is this pretty Your Creative Studios packaging. And um, then I'll just do some additional collaging on top of it. So I have these little tickets right here. This is one of the tickets that I stamped the other day on um, a um, like a master board that I made. So I'm just going to go ahead and start placing down some of these things or rearrange or arranging them actually on here just to do some collaging. And um, this will be a nice little addition to my ephemera package or my ephemera collection. So let me just go ahead and get my Tim Holtz distress uh, collaging whatever <laughs> whatever that is and a brush and I'll be right back okay so this is my Tim Holtz distress collage medium it's matte it has a matte finish and uh, it's just a small jar about three and a half ounces I'm just going to place a little bit of this on the surface right here and then just start gluing things to it or placing things on it and uh, covering it up with an additional coat of Tim Holtz Distress um, Collage Matte uh, mat Medium. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is a awesome Try It Thursday. And this is a really nice low stress project to try so yeah these are some little I don't know what these are called I made I made a project with this they're like little gold pieces and I hope this works yeah that worked all right so um, let me just grab some more stuff to stick on here. I don't know. I cleaned my desk, so I don't know where anything is anymore. <laughs> I don't have anything on hand. Uh, here's another piece. I did this little stamp of a medallion from that master board. And that master board project was part of Malena's M Scrap Busters Challenge. I hope you guys are working through those challenges with Malena because it's a lot of fun. Using up your scraps is pretty essential. Doesn't make sense to hold on to all of those. And I'm just going to cover the entire thing now with the Distress Medium and set this aside and let it dry. Alright. So yeah, I can add some more things to this. Whoops. Um, but Sometimes less is more. And the paper is already very pretty on its own. Alright. Let me just grab a tag. So here is a tag 
it's a pre-cut tag it had this little string on it um, and again I cut out that um, your creative studios package so let's see I'll add some glue to base it down and I'm running low on glue I should have grabbed my glue also when I went over to get the distress collage medium but I forgot and now my glue is popping out at every chance it gets so I'm just gonna go ahead and place this down on here and I'll use that sanding block to cut away any excess if there's any okay there's just a little bit around the top here so I'll do that and I'll be right back Okay, so I have here this little washi sticker. It's of a mushroom. I fussy cut it around it. There was a little bit more white than I wanted around the edges. So I'm just going to place this down right on the bottom here of this, this tag. And all I did was really just glue down the tag with some um, Scotch Create glue stick. And... I like these the little um, admission tickets a lot so I make quite a few of them and I am just going to put the the distress medium right on top of the tag itself and then add some on top of the ticket and that should hold it in place and I'll just cover the entire tag with the distress medium and once it dries then I'll pop the hole back in it and probably add the string because the hole is already predetermined right there it has a little um, eyelet in it so it should be fine and then I can ink these because the ink will take really well around the uh, the edges once you get some the distress medium on it so these are the two that I've made so far. I have uh, probably about five or six more to go. That paper was pretty large. It had um, it had enough to make this many. So here, let me just show you. I'm just gonna set that aside to dry. So I have this many tags that I can possibly make with that one sheet of paper, including this other large. Um, label right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and collage all of these together and then we'll I'll show you my finished product all right all right guys so these are all of my labels I went ahead and collaged them all I used my Tim Holtz feel notes these are just a bunch of little snippets that comes in a package like this and there's just a lot of little fussy cutted, you know, bits and bobs inside of here. And um, I just went ahead and adhered a lot of them to these cards that I'm making or tags, labels, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, they all came out like this. I also used my Tim Holtz Feel Note Collection um, stamps and stamped a bunch of things all around each one of them you know like like that and this right here is just some index cards that I glued together because I find like lately index cards are so thin I don't know what happened to the quality of index cards so I glued about four of them together and now I'm have this and I can make this into like a little pocket or journaling card there's plenty of writing space on the back here with the pre lines that comes printed on the on an index card so yeah I just went ahead and stamped a couple of stamps on here and I went ahead and inked all around all of the other tags and whatnot I can make this into a pocket by simply just cutting in a thumb notch right at the top right there and I think they all came out pretty good I like the way they look um, you know it's just a quick little fun project that you can do you don't have to have you know pre labeled cut out type things you know you can use index cards for example and just 
do it this way. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. And I hope you guys find a little bit of inspiration here on this channel. If you do, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. Use your scraps, use your trash, use up your garbage. Have an inspirational day, guys. And please do something crafty. Stay naturally curious. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.